Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Paces back to another video on my channel. Today we are actually going to be building a engine for a plane. So it's going to be a modular engine, it is going to be for a seaplane, so hopefully it's going to be quite big and powerful. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to go from there. I don't know how many cylinders just yet, but I would assume quite a lot. But um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get on with it and we'll see what happens from there. Okie dokie, so as you guys can see right here, we've actually got ourselves a microcontroller. This is from Billy Bly, uh, who actually gave us this before for an engine in a, another seaplane, actually. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be building a modular engine today, so let's just go ahead and get on with it. We'll type in engine, uh, that'll bring up all the things that we possibly need. It's been a while since I've actually built an engine, I'm not going to lie, but yeah, that seems good. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, um... Wait, yeah, should we go with 12 or should we go with 16? Let's go with a 16-cylinder engine. That seems like a lot, I'm not going to lie. 16 cylinders seems like a lot for an engine. But, um, yeah, we could totally do that. So let's go straight to cylinders, wherever they may be. I don't actually see them. Anyone see the cylinders? Is that a cylinder? There it is. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep. 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, no, this seems good, because we can't build radial engines yet, like, you know, where they go in a circle. So this seems um, about right. This seems about right. So, we need to attach these together. We need some fuel, we need some air, and we're going to go from there. So fuel, oh, I don't really know where to put these things, but we'll put one there at the back. We'll have our air supply actually at the front. Yeah, which seems a bit weird. There you go. Uh, we're going to attach them all together using these guys. So we'll uh, we'll actually put this... We'll put that there. We'll actually put another one of these right here. We'll have another one of those, I guess, right there. And another one of those right here. Excellent. So that's all attached together. Um, that's fine. All right. Very good. So the air supply and the fuel supply will get shared around all of them um, nicely. I think, anyway. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Uh, the belt drive, obviously going to go on here somewhere. Do, do, do. Probably the back. Excellent. That's where the starter and everything's going to go. And then we need the clutch to go on the front. Uh, and that's where the propeller's gonna go. Excellent. Oh, this is fine. This is completely fine. Actually, can I do this? One there, and then the clutch. I think I can. So we'll put the clutch right there. Excellent. Uh, we'll build all of this in. Do, 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 do. Actually, fluid ports. Yeah, we'll actually build these in with fluid ports. This is gonna be pretty crazy, but there you go. One there, one there. We'll have to put one in here. Excellent. We're gonna go all the way around. There we go, and... There we go. Excellent. Yeah, that works. Uh, then we're going to do these pieces, obviously, because it's going to be a circle. Uh, and that's pretty good. Yeah, this is actually pretty excellent. Um, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Okay, so our air supply is now in. That's actually fine. Uh, our exhaust and stuff, we need that to happen as well. So we need an exhaust pipe. Um, engine. Let me type that in. Do, do, do. Exhaust. Here we go. So we'll actually have this go off the side on both sides right there. That actually seems like a pretty decent place for it. Unless we have multiple exhausts coming off the bottom. Which actually might be pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. Because we can have three on each side. That's pretty sick, actually. I like that. Um, so that's good. Yes. Uh, I'm actually really happy with that. Nice. Uh, so our air supply is in. Our fuel supply is there. Our belt needs to drive a starter, an alternator, and stuff like that. So let's do that. Starter right here. Go ahead and put it straight on. Excellent. Starter's on. We only need one. We only need one starter. We could do it with a few, but one starter is probably fine. Uh, what else do we need? What else do we need? Uh, coolant pump. Oh, that's a thing. That is actually a thing. So, actually, the coolant pump should probably go on this side. Um, which is unfortunate, because it actually needs to pump out the back. Yeah, it does. Oh, that's really annoying, actually. That's very annoying, because I can't actually have this here. So, realistically, we delete this, we add another one of these, and then I think the belt drive and stuff like that can go on there, so that's probably fine now. So, alternator, we can put that on the top, that's fine. Uh, starter, we can put that on the side. Here we go, again. So, that's going to go there. The fluid pump, thingamabobby, is going to go right here, like so, excellent. And that's all good, actually, that's, that's perfect. Um, do, 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 we might have this go out the side, you know, all right, okay, have this go out the side, so that our coolant can actually go into here, that's probably okay, 
All right, good. I'm happy with this. I'm very happy with this. So air supply is already in. Coolant manifold is going to have to go here, which means this is going to have to move backwards even further. There we go. Excellent. Ah, just like this. That's fine. Uh, and that is actually completely fine. So our coolant's going to go around in the loop, attach back onto this. That's okay. All right, excellent. Yeah, guys, it's totally working. So just to test this out, we're going to go ahead and get some pink things. Actually, we'll go with yellow. So that it looks a bit, bit industrious. Industrial. There we go. We're going to do this. We're going to bring it backwards. And actually, this bit's all going to be weight. There we go. So from here, backwards like so. Excellent. A little bit further forwards. And that's all fine. So just for testing, we're going to put a prop on the front, which is just going to be one of these. Bam. There we go. Excellent as well. Uh, we're going to put a tank on here for actual fuel. Uh, 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 there we go. Excellent. So we got fuel. We got air. Uh, now we need coolant to actually happen, and then we'll be good to go from there. So pipes, let's do it. Let's do it. The pipes are going to be green. Yeah, there we go. So that's going to go forwards. It's then going to come out from here. Uh, and then, ooh, those pieces are actually going to be blocked. So there we go. That's going to go there. We'll have a straight line right there. Excellent. We'll have this bit come outwards, like so. And this bit come upwards and backwards. And attach those together with this. There we go. Very nice. Okay, so all that should work. Uh, we get our coolant. We get our fuel. Uh, we get our air supply. We get our starter. We have our exhausts that aren't actually attached yet. Hang on. Uh, exhaust. Actually, let's just go with fluid. And then we'll attach the air rams to each of these. There we go. One, two, and three. And then on this side as well. Da da da. One, two, and three. Excellent. That's all good. Right, throttle levers. Let's go. So our throttles are going to go on here. We'll have probably like two of those, I think. Uh, we'll move this. Uh, cut it. Move it forwards. Bring it down. I believe we can actually just have it there for now. All right, there we go. And we'll attach these together with weights. All right, so attach this to here, all the way across, and merge it in. There we go. Good. So air supply. Um, ooh. All right, air throttle. Let's go. Air throttle's there. Uh, fuel throttle is this one. Excellent. This is the RPS of the engine, which I believe is just one of the crankshafts. Excellent. Uh, throttle input is just going to be this. Uh, starter. Don't know. We need that to be our clutch. Let me let me label that. There we go. Clutch. Okay, so that's all good. Uh, our starter and our key. So starter goes to there. Key. We need a key. Ba 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 ba. There we go. We're going to make that green also because we can. This is all going to get deleted anyway as we start building an actual plane. But if this all works, that's going to be brilliant. Battery. Let's go with a big old battery uh, right here. Excellent. So connect all of this to the electricity. Bam, 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 bam. Excellent. Swan it in. Let's go. Is it going to work? Is the question. Who knows? I'm not sure. So key on. Throttle it up. Oh, you leave the key. You leave the key on. Clutch in. What's our efficiency on that? What does it look like? It doesn't look like there's any exhaust coming out, but it does look somewhat efficient, I think. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. The exhaust is now coming out. Excellent. That's pretty cool. We've built an engine that actually works. This is awesome. So this is the engine that we'll probably use um, in our actual build. However, it'll have a clutch on the front. It'll drive an actual propeller. Uh, and I think that'll be pretty awesome. That will be pretty awesome, actually. Right, okay. Bring it back. Let's go ahead and click on this. Max IPS 30. Let's go with 20 instead. And we'll actually move it over to the side so we can actually just test it straight away. So bring it over here. Spawn it in. Push it forwards a tiny bit into the sun. There you go. We want to test in the sun always. Do this, do this. Okay, so our IPS is lower, but that's fine. Uh, and our energy efficiency is actually something like 60%, which is pretty cool. Do this. The efficiency seemed to go up for a second there. It's all over the place. But it is working, so I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. That's good. Um, so, yeah, we're going to build our engine around this um, in terms of what it looks like. So, we're going to go with, let's say, one of these. We're going to make it this color to begin with. And we're going to try and put it on there. But we're going to do it back here. So, yeah. So, we're going to put that there like that. We'll probably have it like that. That seems pretty good. Hang on. 
Ah! Hang on. There we go, like this. We'll have it overhang the actual engine thingamabobby on the front, and that'll be pretty awesome. However, the fuel actually comes out of here, so we can't have it too much like that. That's kind of unfortunate. We'll figure that out eventually. But anyway, we've built an engine for a plane, uh, and we're going to use it. We are actually going to use this. Uh, let's get ourselves a propeller so we can actually signify what it is. Uh, and there we go. That is awesome. I just sneezed. I just sneezed, but there you go. So it's actually for... Oh, wow. That is... The engine looks tiny now that we've done that. The engine actually looks tiny now that we've done this. But uh, yeah, it is going to be for a propeller, so that's it. That's our engine built. That's excellent. I'm, I'm actually super duper happy. So uh, I think I'm going to end the video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys want to see a plane, a plane built with this engine, let me know in the comments down below. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.